Hello, hope you guys are doing good. Uh, this video is going to be about addition reactions and more specifically acid catalyzed hydration. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video is show you guys how to figure out what the product is going to be just by looking at these two things over here and the name of the reaction. And then in my next video, I'm going to go over the mechanism so this way you guys will understand why we get the products that we do get from this reaction. And then in the following video, I'm going to go. Uh, and then we're going to be looking at this sucker over here, hydroboration. This is one of the reactions that I hated the most when I first took Orgo, but then I figured out a shortcut to it, and I'll show you guys what it is in um, a future video. So make sure you check that out. Ooh. Ooh, it was not so bad. So acid catalyzed hydration, right? The first thing you really need to know is how to recognize that it is acid catalyzed hydration. And Usually, if it's acid catalyzed hydration, then you're going to need some form of acid, right? So, like an acid like hydrochloric acid, HCl, or sulfuric acid, H2SO4. Uh, and since it's hydration, you're going to need water because that's like hydrating, right? So, after that, uh, right now I want you guys to basically just give this a shot. Try and guess what the product's going to be based off of just the name, the reactants and check back in just a couple seconds, okay? And think back to what you remember from, remember from lecture. I'll show you guys uh, how I figure out what the product is, okay? Okay, so hopefully you guys gave that a shot and tried it out. If you didn't, it's okay. But um, now, uh, when I try and tackle this problem, right, I, have to, I like to think about what's actually going on. So hopefully you guys already know that this is gonna be an addition reaction. So we're gonna be using up our double bond over here in order to add things, atoms and molecules, to the carbons of the double bond that we're going to be using up. So the question is, what are we going to be adding to the carbons of the double bond, right? Well, since the reaction's name is acid catalyzed hydration, chances are we're going to be adding a proton or hydrogen. Because think back to Gen Chem, what do, proton, uh, what do protons do? What do acids do, right? Acids donate protons that are basically just hydrogens. So we're going to be donating a hydrogen to one of the carbons of the, of the double bond. And then since it's hydration, we're going to be using up, we're going to be using our water and bringing it into our molecule, but that's not going to be in the final product because if, if the oxygen of the water forms another bond, it's not going to be neutral anymore. It's not going to be stable. So instead, you want to remember the hydration step. You're going, to be, you're going to be ending up with a hydroxy group or hydroxyl group, and it's basically just a OH functional group or alcohol. But uh, yeah. I know that might not have made the most sense, and I'll show you what I mean right now. So when I try and do the product prediction for this, I like to draw my molecule again, but without the double bond. Because we know since it's an addition reaction, it's going to be used up, right? All right, so this should be what you have once you redraw your molecule without the double bond or the alkene. All right, next, you have to figure out what you're adding on, right? Well, I, because the reaction is acid catalyzed hydration, you know you're going to be adding on a proton. And which side is it going to get added on? Well, that's when um, Vladimir Markovnikov's rule comes in really, really handy. So Vlad Vladimir Markovnikov, his rule states that if you have to add on like a hydrogen and like a halide in hydrohalogenation, or let's say a hydrogen in like water for this reaction here, the hydrogen is always going to be added on to the side with more hydrogens already on it. So that's going to be this side right here. And the whole purpose behind his rule is to basically uh, create the most stable carbocation, which I'll show you in my next video, in the mechanism, uh, which is going to be the mechanism video. But anyway, yeah, so hydrogen is always going to be added on to the side with more hydrogens if the reaction follows Markovnikov's rule. But uh, so we know where hydrogen goes, but where does the water or hydroxy group or alcohol group end up, right? It has to be over here since our hydrogen went over there. All right. And now everything is nice and neutral and happy, okay? So in case you guys were confused by why it's a hydroxy group over here and not water, check out my mechanism, mechanism video. I'll be, it's the next video. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully after this video, you guys feel a little bit more comfortable with acid catalyzed hydration. There are some exceptions to this rule. For example, hydride shifts, uh, methyl shifts, also known as carbocation rearrangements. You want to double check in your notes to make sure you study those because they are going to mess with you because the uh, products aren't always going to be this simple, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, 
for, in general, acid catalyzed hydration uh, reactions follow this pattern here, okay? All right, if you guys like my videos and you wanna see more of them, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I also have a Facebook page now, so if you have any questions, for example, anything's confusing, make sure you uh, ask me either in the comments down below or on my Facebook page, okay? Um, I'll see you in my mechanism video then. Blah, blah, blah.